What's going on everyone, Steel Suede here from Diabetic Aesthetics. So today is currently Sunday, and Sunday is a very big day for me because it's not only a day where I check in with all of my one-on-one -on -one online coaching clients, and I you know, look over their entire week's worth of progress, and I calculate their weekly weigh and average, I adjust their macros, and you know, we kind of talk about their entire week. But it's also a day where I do my own check-in for myself, and I adjust my macros, pretty much adjust all of my protocols for my cut to successfully keep losing body fat, right? So today is very special because I will be implementing my very first refeed day of Summer Shredding 2018. And I wanna show you guys exactly how I do it so you can implement these yourself. Refeed days are extremely, extremely vital when you, you, know, you are dieting for a long period of time. And uh, you know, especially when you have a good amount of built lean muscle mass and uh, you're getting leaner and leaner. And the leaner you get, the more important refeed days are. The very beginning of your diet, I would say the first you know, month, you really don't need a refeed day, guys. Your body's still adjusting to the deficit of calories and you're still efficiently working correctly, right? But after around four to six weeks, the caloric deficit is definitely gonna take a little bit of a dent and toll on your body. So I would recommend refeed days. A lot of people ask me, should you do cheat meals? Should you do cheat days? I don't recommend cheat days because depending on how hard you go and uh, how many calories you consume you can set yourself back whole weeks worth of dieting progress guys so uh, definitely I would not recommend that and then when it comes to cheat meals you can do that they're a little bit more effective if you do them like once a week on Sundays like myself on the refeeds but refeeds are so much more more structured and, and you're gonna feel so much better you know they're gonna restore leptin levels you're gonna kick ass for the rest of the week and uh, it's just gonna feel super good to get your energy levels and Kind of that mental clarity back when it comes to dieting so check it out i always implement my refeed days on sunday and sunday is actually my off day of weight training and cardio so i don't do anything on sunday i'm actually burning the least amount of calories versus any day out of the week uh, because i'm just on my you know computer doing client work all day and really editing videos stuff like that doing some school work but you might be wondering why are you doing that on a sunday shouldn't you do it on a training day that's because when you implement a refeed day and you have a lot of carbs let's say today you're not going to feel the effect of those carbs in a good way you know the positive effect till the next day so my session tomorrow is going to be insanely good you know the next day is going to be really 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 good with all these carbs it's not gonna you know take into effect today so that's why I personally like to do it today but anyways for a refeed you might be wondering how do I structure my macros right now my macros are currently 275 grams of carbs 200 grams of protein and 65 grams of fat so what I will do is I will drop my fats by a good 15 to 20 grams so my fats today are gonna be around 45 to 50 grams of fat and then when it comes to my protein I would recommend dropping your protein intake to 0.8 to 1 gram of protein per pound of lean body weight and um, right now for me I'm gonna drop it down to one gram so it's gonna be around 165 to 170 grams of protein that I'll be trying to hit today it really just depends on how overweight guys you are and uh, really what your body fat percentage is. If you're someone like me who's a good amount of lean body mass, lean muscle mass, and uh, you know, you're know you a little bit more of an advanced trainee, then go ahead and keep it at one gram. But if you are more overweight and you're more body fat, then keep it at 0.8. And then when it comes to you know the rest of my calories, so usually my normal macros, 275, 265, that adds up to around 25 or 2,400 calories. What I'm gonna do is increase my total intake by around 500 calories. So I'll be hitting around 2,900 to 3,000. That's gonna be a little bit above me maintenance for me, which is great. And uh, obviously when you total my calories, which is gonna be 170 grams of protein and like 50 grams of fat, when you multiply those and get the calculation for the total number of calories, subtract that number from around 2,900 calories for me. That's my goal today. And then the rest will be put into the carbs. So that's gonna be my macros for the day. I will have it listed up right over here. Yeah, I just really, really, I'm enjoying this because uh, this is definitely the time where I do need a refeed. And hopefully you guys can implement this yourself. And uh, again, we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and get after it. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video, get a great idea of how you can burn more fat by even eating more on a structured refeed day. All right, so sitting down to the first meal of my refeed day. So I have two cups of instant plain oatmeal. So it's 160 grams dry oats. And I cooked it in eight ounces of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I'm telling you, try cooking your oatmeal in almond milk. It makes it taste so much better, makes all the difference. But then I also put a cup of water as well for the rest of that. And after I was done nuking it in the microwave for around three and a half minutes, I put half a scoop 
of chocolate whey protein and I put some artificial sweetener, some sea salt, mix that all together and I'm telling you, you guys gotta try this meal, it's like chocolate pudding or you can even put vanilla, whatever, you know, protein powder flavor of your choice. And then I also have five egg whites. So that is going to wrap up my first meal of the day, guys. I will have all of the macros listed on the screen for my entire refeed day. Another huge tip, by the way, because you're reintroducing all these carbs into your system, be sure you're upping your water intake on your refeed day, guys. Like for me personally, I've made it a habit to chug as much water as I possibly can as I'm making my meal. So right before I eat it, and then after I'm done eating, I will chug as much water as I possibly can as well. You will easily find yourself consuming around like 30 to 40 ounces per meal. So definitely drink a lot of water, kind of increase that intake for today. And uh, we're going to go ahead and chow this down. And I will see you guys for meal number two of the refeed day. All right, guys. So currently at my local grocery store, about to pick up some stuff for my refeed day. Just going to pick up some snacks for my next meal, specifically because I'm not too hungry for a meal. I just kind of want to have, you know, something a little higher iron carbs something to snack on and that's kind of like the fun part about refeed days you get to have kind of stuff that you wouldn't typically normally have on your regular days of eating you know to hit your assigned macros just because they're not as filling versus other whole foods you know so that's exactly what I'm gonna do and I will show you guys exactly what I'm gonna get and uh, exactly what I'm about to eat now so while I'm here I figured I'd give you guys a few tips so I personally cannot eat stuff like this because I have celiac disease so I can't eat gluten right but uh, great snacks for refeed days are things like bagels like check it out cinnamon raisin bagels this would be great for a snack pretty filling and like high in carbs and definitely something that would be maybe something you might be craving so uh, just kind of like gonna throw out some tips here and there like check it out some brown sugar cinnamon raisin bread remember refeed days are a great time to just take advantage of things you crave maybe some sugary items don't be afraid to kind of have a lot of variety on your diet today when you're doing a refeed day because again it's also for kind of that like mental health and wellness to just relax mentally because uh, dieting and being in a caloric deficit every single day for an extended period of time can really take a tool on you not only physically but mentally so enjoy it <laughs> so check it out guys I got my goodies for today I have some of these barbecue pop chips which actually I'm gonna go ahead and like eat right now there's probably this entire bag for a little bit of a big snack and uh, also some white cheddar rice cakes pretty low in fat and just like high in carbs so perfect I'm also gonna pick out some sweet potatoes for my like next big meal that I'm gonna have with chicken breast so gonna go ahead and do that and I'll check in for a second all right family so we have got our refeed day foods and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and actually eat this entire bag of barbecue pop chips because you know what it's a refeed day and I can afford all them carbs but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and put the macros on the screen of course and uh, each serving is four fat 19 carbs two protein so again Check these out guys, even just normal dieting foods, definitely can implement them every single day, but I wanna eat the whole bag because it's a refeed day. <laughs> Anyways, I'll check up with you guys for my next meal, which will be like a whole foods-based big meal. I know you see it, girl, this ain't sitting real good to my soul. All right, so just got done preparing my next big meal for my refi day. Now check it out, this is a huge one. I have 525 grams of cooked sweet potato with some sauce on top, and then I also have 9.5 ounces of cooked skinless boneless chicken breast, and then I also threw in some barbecue sauce at the very end when it was done cooking, and just seasoned it with very basic stuff, guys, just some salt, some pepper, and uh, super, super excited to eat this. Now you will notice that this is actually a meal that I have on a daily basis even on a non refi day just something that is extremely filling and uh, very satisfying when you're dieting I still like to have this on my refi day guys just because I just want to have the same exact thing something that's gonna fill me up just a lot more of it just so I'm extra extra full and satisfied because I really like to take advantage of the extra calories on refi days to just you know eat more of whole and filling foods so I'm more full you know so I don't kind of like stay hungry after hitting macros because eating nothing but like cinnamon toast crunch and you know just like cereal and granola bars on a refi day it's not really gonna fill you up even though you're increased calories so that is gonna be my meal the macros will of course be on the screen as of every other meal and I'll see you guys for my last and final meal after about I'd say an hour and a half it's 9 p.m. right now so definitely around like 10 30 
so sitting down to my last and final meal of my refeed day. So I know this looks super familiar, but we got a good old fashioned bowl of prote meal again. And this is just 80 grams, which is one cup of dry oatmeal cooked in water only this time, just nuked in the microwave for around three and a half minutes. And then I put half a scoop of some chocolate whey protein and then some sea salt, some uh, artificial sweetener. You guys already know the deal on how to make the prote meal. And it's just really, really tasty. I figured why not make something very quick, easy and delicious. Sorry. 10 30 i don't want to spend a lot of time cooking but anyways that is gonna wrap up my full day of eating when it comes to my refeed day let's talk about the final macros that i've consumed for the day so i had 168 grams of protein 427 grams of carbs and then 52 grams of fat. So we are two grams under on my protein goal, which is 170. And then we're two grams over on our carbohydrate goal, which was supposed to be 425. And then we're two grams of fat over on our 50 gram goal of fat. So that's not a big deal, guys. When it comes to hitting your macros, I always recommend just be around like 95% accurate. Not every day is gonna be 100%. As long as you're doing your absolute best to hit them on a consistent day-by-day -day basis, you're gonna be just fine. And uh, again, that's gonna wrap things up. And hopefully this kind of showed you how to do your own refeed day and how much this is truly going to help me. After this refeed day, guys, like not only is it gonna give me just a whole new spark of energy, it's also gonna Gonna give me a whole new spark of motivation just crush another week's worth of dieting you know it's just something again not only is it physically replenishing it's also mentally replenishing as well and that kind of gets you ready for a whole week of being in a deficit so hopefully you guys enjoyed that if you ever need my personal one-on-one -on -one guidance when it comes to figuring out your exact macros for your own body and your goals you know how much carbs you should be consuming how much protein how much fat and uh, where we adjust these numbers on a week-by-week -week basis along with uh, unlimited communication with me via text message and uh, you know my VIP email be sure to check out my website www.diabeticaesthetics.com with my one-on-one -on -one online coaching service and even if you're looking for something with less commitment but you still want the results then be sure to check out my personalized meal plan service as well I would love to work with you in order to get the best results possible and help you achieve your fitness goals that is what I'm super passionate about again you know macronutrition is super important when it comes to dieting guys that is literally like 80% of everything obviously you need your workout routine you need that cardio routine but if you don't know how much macros you're consuming the right proper macronutrient ratio for your own body and your own goals then you are going to fail that's just like end of story there so get that right and hit it on a day-by-day -day basis strategies like refeeds are going to help and uh I appreciate you all watching. Be sure right now before you exit out to give the video a like if you really enjoyed it and you wanna see more of this kind of content. And of course, share it if you really enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for not only plenty of informative and helpful you know, content like this, but also very entertaining content and tons of vlogs. So appreciate the support. I'll see y'all in the next video.